hi, good afternoon. So welcome to um, another new video. So as you can see, we are going to do a paint review again, right? So uh, remember uh, last year when I bought a set of 20 special watercolors uh, from, from China and I got it from Taobao AliExpress. So uh, you can find the link over here. I finally going to review them because after using them for a year, I have a good idea whether they are good or they're not. Right, so these colors um, are actually made um, by um, Supervision. The Chinese name is Shi Jue, which means vision in Chinese. They collaborated with CAAM for this set of watercolors. So, da shi ji shui, shui cai yuan liao. So it, it means that um, it's a, a, a artist grade uh, watercolor. So is it artist grade or not? We shall see. So they have 20 colors, they come in two forms. So they have 10 of them in half pens, right? So here are the half pen colors. They have 10 tubes as well. And from the from the tube, you can, can on the sleeve, you can see that they, they're not just one color, like they come in two colors. So these are called Fen Cheng Se. And Fen Cheng means separation. It means like uh, separating the two layers or several layers. Maybe they will split into several colors. We shall see in the in the rest of the video whether that is true. So here are the colors. I swatched them out. The uh, top row, the top two rows are all of the uh, half pens, and the bottom two rows are of the uh, uh, tubes that we have. And I have their Chinese and their English name uh, on the swatch itself. So the first thing that you see is that the English name and the Chinese name are very different. So if you don't read Chinese, you probably don't understand like what is the significance but if you read Chinese you understand Chinese you realize that the Chinese names are absolutely beautiful like example Lu Meng Ling is wow and like Yi Xian Ge like how poetic can they be and then the uh, alternatively the English name Rose Ash is still pretty nice red blue right yeah green purple mm -hmm. yellow green yeah, I mean, I think they should be a little bit more creative when they come to the English name because it's so starkly different from the Chinese one. The colors, they look, they look beautiful. Like for example, I think rose ash, red green, brown, brown green, green purple, purple orchid, um, even Stike Sky Ink Blue Bag and Cathedral Green. These colors do separate into several colors. Like Cathedral Green is just not green. Like it's green plus maybe a little bit of blue. Rose ash is like a blue and a red, like together. And you have like, and they separate out nicely. So yeah, it, just in one tube, you get two colors and they, they, they give you this beautiful granulation. It's like what, what's more to, to actually, uh, you know, ask for in, 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 a, in a watercolor. Um, if, if you get like the whole 20 colors, it's not going to give you like a spectrum of colors because I, I believe when they sell these colors, it's not as a set, it's more like as itself. So if you are interested, you just go in and just buy that color. And some of the colors are actually more worth it than others. For example, like I think lavender, it's probably not very worth it because there are a lot of lavender uh, made by many different makers. And I don't see a big difference between this lavender and let's say lavender by um, uh, Shin Han or, or Mission Go. On, uh, this is a, a, a rough paper. Um, this is here the cold press. So this is the hot press. Okay. So yeah, they, they work on all papers. Rough, cold press, uh, hot press paper. So if you look at the tube itself, it comes with the name um, of the tube of the color. So this one is red green or the Cai Sang Zi, alright? And if you turn it over and you will be able to see the pigment information. So for this one, it's made up of PG50 and PR122. They also give you the CV color sleeve CV number, which but I don't really see a difference in the CV number. And also the transparency. Most of them are um, just semi-opaque, alright? And the light fastness doesn't have any information on the light fastness. The, the pen colors, um, this is a name of, of the, the color. And here are, here are the um, pigment information. And on the other side, you can see that it's actually semi, uh, it's, it's about it's semi opaque. Um, and they don't give you a lot of light fast information. This says LF5. So now let's talk about things I don't like about this brand. I, I am the kind who like to know what goes into the, 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 the each of the individual paints and, and tubes of colors that I have. So I find that they are not very transparent on some of the colors. So for example, I've shown you like on some, they actually give you the uh, information or pigment information. But there are others 
where they just give you like a Chinese name, like Chinese like a general description. So for example, so it's your PB36, right? And a zhu Zhu means plant color, right? But what pigment is it? It doesn't say. So I, I, I don't know, I really don't know what to say about this uh, Yi Xian Ge because I know it's made from PB36 and something, but I have no idea what the something is. And there is one that is, I'm just so perplexed, like uh, this one, this is called, this is gold green, golden green. And it says here, Kuang Wu Se, Zhu Wu Se. So it's just mineral, mineral color, um, plant color. Uh, right, what is this? <laughs> PB, P what? <laughs> pigment what? So it's not pigment, it's a dye. Uh, if you're not so concerned about um, pigments you're using, reproducibility, then you know you're probably not so bothered by this. And this is this is interesting. This one says it has P V thirty six and Dong Wu Se. So what's a Dong Wu Se like animal color? Uh, <laughs> so if you're like vegan, don't no okay, don't, don't get this one. So this is the result of a light fast test that I've um, done since last year. Um, so it has been sunning for at least six months. You can see the difference, right? There's actually a difference between the left and the right. So this one over on the right left side, I left it in the cabinet, and this one um, I actually put it on on the on the window. And you can see that many of these colors uh, they are not light fast. It's more um, apparent on some colors and not on others. For example, brown green, cathedral glass. I I I'm like these are two obviously two different colors. Yellow green, um, golden green, red blue. Right, um, even blue gradient, purple orchid, uh, rose ash, and the red yellow. So these colors, they don't last in the sun. So if you do use them, I mean, I think these are more important for people. The work goes onto uh, walls. So if you want, if you're painting on a sketchbook and it's always closed, I think it's fine. But if you're painting something that has to go onto gallery wall, onto someone's house, these are not colors that you can use for, for, for that purpose because this would happen. You, you could go with the other colors that are probably more like fast, but these are no, these are a no no. For certain colors, the, the separation or special effects don't seem to last, so I would suggest that you use it as soon as you can. It, rose ash is my favorite color from, from that, from the whole batch. Um, so this was the color that I had when I first swatched it. So when I got this color and I swatched it, this was concentrated and this was like diluted. So you could see the red and, and that little turquoise color. And then I squeeze them out um, onto pens like this. So I actually have a sort of a half pen of it. When I painted this from the, the half pen that was dried, this was the color. Um, and I have some remaining in the tube. And a good half a year later, when I squeeze this out for painting, I realized that it became this color from the tube. So I, I, it was in the tube. So what actually happened to the color in the tube? Like you would expect, well, at least for me, I would expect that color that is squeezed out onto a pen would have degraded or something might have happened to it. But no, this is the color that's in the tube that it became like that. Um, this is probably the PB36, right? Which is, um, yeah, one of the, one of the components. And the other component is the Dong Wu Se. So that red is probably the Dong Wu Se. I believe that this is this Dong Wu Se here, or the animal color here, is, is the uh, cochineal. I like traditionally use, um, like they extract the red color from the bodies of these dead insects. Carmine, the uh, light fugitive pigment, is actually made uh, from, 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 that, from that pigment, the animal pigment. And it does last, like I actually painted this quite a while ago, and this one I painted it when I first, uh, paint, uh, when I first had the, the, the draw it, the paint. So I believe if you actually keep it, like you don't, if you keep it in, inside or paint it, you leave, leave it, it should stay um, this, this color. And if you squeeze it out, it should still stay because as you can see, I squeeze it onto a half pen and, and the color still stays pretty okay. Right, so other than this color, um, there are also another two colors. So example would be the brown green, which has two unidentifiable colors. When I squeezed out uh, of our tube, uh, the color is entirely different from when it was first used and when, when I actually kept it in like a half pen like this. And this one, um, Yi Xian Ge. So Yi Xian Ge I think has the same problem as our 
uh, old rose ash except that this one's here it says it's zhu zhu so a plant color and not animal color so it could be another red pigment pigment that's from a, a plant um, but same thing um, that red color disappear um, and and the, the one that is squeezed out the pan fair a little bit better but um, that color is still not it's not as strong as when it was uh, first painted so Something that you need to take note of. Really, what is my final verdict? What do I think of these colors? I think they, they are innovative. The colors are beautiful. Um, so if you're gonna just use this as a, for fun, um, or like a sketch, sketchbook project, or something that just to pay um, and, and give it as a card to a friend, or keep it in your sketchbook, or you can actually scan it down um, and sell the digital file, I think it's fine. Like you can get these colors and you can try them out. They are really blown, like mind blown. To me, I'm like mind blown. Yeah, but the trade-off is of course, um, firstly, you do not know what pigments you're using. They are not like fast. Colors can change. Unfortunately, the really beautiful ones do. Uh, just the color just, just it's just not the same as what you have gotten them. I will be sharing individual colors in separate videos, um, like always. And if there are certain ones that you really want to see which color first, just let me know in the comment section below. And, and I would uh, share, it, share them first. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. And bye-bye.